There are instances where there were individuals that uh, were evidently, although it was not widespread, uh, where Native American tribes would uh, attempt to sacrifice individuals, individual human beings. And um, again, this was not prevalent, but it did take place. It's in the records. Uh, and when this took place, um, often the way a Puritan preacher would deal with it, and John Elliott could speak the language of the Indians, and basically he would choose the very rock where they would make those sacrifices and preach that there was one sacrifice for you. You don't need to make those sacrifices because one already took the beating for you and his name is Jesus. And he would stand in the very spot where they had sacrificed animals or they had sacrificed uh, or attempted to sacrifice a human. And uh, one story that's very close here to um, us is a, a rock that's known as Chamber Rock today. But in the archives, um, I've read a story about how they were about to sacrifice to an individual, one of the missionaries, Thomas Tupper, and along with Richard Bourne, were walking along the path. They saw it. They cried out to God, and they said, Stop this, uh, this act uh, in the name of uh, uh, the Lord. And, of course, they looked at him as a clear, blue, sunny day, and they, they, they just ignored them. Knowing that they, of course, could be the next ones that are taken, uh, they preach it. And all of a sudden, out of the blue sky comes a thunderbolt, breaks the rock into several pieces, and obviously the tribe gets saved. They get converted. Uh, interestingly enough, years later, more than 100 years after that event, they brought some scientists in because they said this legend must be just a fable. And they had scientists examine that very boulder, saying could this boulder actually have been split by um, uh, lightning? But they didn't ask that to the scientists. They just said, tell us how this broke. Well, a scientist came out and said this could only have been broken with a thunderbolt of lightning because of the way it's scarred and broken into its various pieces. And, of course, it was known as... Um, sacrifice Rock, it, uh, it became known, but now known as Chamber Rock. And there's a Chamber Rock Road not far from here where that event actually took place. Many sacrifice rocks that were used to sacrifice animals, and sometimes even humans were turned to pulpit rocks when those individuals became Christians. And um, it was not to uh, vilify the individual, it was simply to convert them from the worship of darkness to the worship of the true God. And it's interesting that those are markers all around here, the miraculous intervention of God and if that can happen once, it can happen more than once. And it's the same God that was working here in the 1600s that's working today. That's why we can have hope.